Arco 1964 here, another race course, this time Goodwood. First time being to Goodwood in just under three years. The sudden they wanted to earlier videos, at least one video. I'm back in then I had very few group of graded races left to see, as I keep saying all the time it seems. Uh, the only group of graded races not to see is the new Liberty Mayor's Chase at Chetna Festival. Hope we get to that next year. Was in practical this year train takes it a bit expensive tickets of course a bit expensive it was a go cup day and i just felt i might just wasn't sure whether it would be one on that day or not as i said the champion bumper for the first year that was one it was on one final race of a festival and then it changed next year so my best chase i expect will be with go cup day next year so look into it then back in 2019 i had about six people waited le races left to see and two of them set of days one was Windsor the day on the Saturday and this and the end of the of August and then there's Goodwood on the Sunday, so that's when I did that. Uh yep. Yeah, I've got the Lennox ticket, quite a cheap ticket. I suspected I can't get to pre parade room or parade room from here. Uh but it's a very, very nice view of Goodwood. Always do get a nice view of Goodwood, frankly, and I might have to turn the camera around and turn a video off the video. So Uh, very nice view here indeed. It's just uh, <laughs> I just can't do much Pima Oasis because frankly, isn't that we can't get anywhere? It could get that way to be uh, one of the other closures. I think it gives a be Gordon closer to get an upgrade to, but that's not. Um, it's twelve quid for Lennox. That's enough. I don't really fancy uh, spending more, much more money on on a bit too much than you're going horse racing anyway at the minute. So I want to spend too much more money. There's two listed races here today, so I'm gradually going through the listed races. A change, and I'm being lost by this. One part of it, that there was issues about track renovation, making one of the, I expect to get 550 single advance tickets between London and uh, Waterloo and, and Chichester, which is where Goodwood is, and when you get a free bus from from a uh, stage train station to, to a race course. It's quite, quite a way away and completely uphill, a journey towards, towards, towards the end of it. And then I'm glad you realised they weren't on, at least to the tickets, and they realised the track renovation take place supposedly today. And we had to do a different way of doing this, actually, going from Waterloo to Haven. 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 So it went fairly well, but no, no, no money for me. Yeah, so I walked uh, Luther Havant and then Havant back out on the line actually to Chichester. And then I was catching my train back from Havant to get to Chichester. And I thought, hang on a minute, this train's going to London, to, to London Bridge, which it shouldn't be, because it shouldn't be going through Gatwick Airport at all. I'm bleeding, bleeding, a uh, track ovation has changed. I'm absolutely certain I looked. 21st of May for Sprat Innovation. I was looking to see if I find who we, my librarian skills for no sensible use whatsoever. So you are to all to see if there's a change of information here. I'm absolutely sure when I look that's well, we Sprat Innovation. Could, could be the case because this way has got a London Bridge and, I, and it changed. And I was absolutely, it cost me about six quid more than it would have done. I might find a bunch ticket way of doing it. I've said six, seven quid more than I expected. So if I could 50 each way around check it. But also to say it's actually changed. It's not over times too much longer what it would have been. But the change that happened, I didn't want to you know, it's always a risk of missing change. Luckily I didn't, but I don't know what's been going on there. That's very, very odd. There's a few things about here I hear. I said no, no, it doesn't seem a huge as well, but was that long one of the longest queues I've seen for buses actually. Through West Coast Bus of Australia Station. And I started wondering if the way schools and stagecoach for my buses of over three made a cock up and basically underestimated demand. But uh, he, but he managed to get on, but I was at one point I thought it was missed the first race. I also had to pick a ticket up here as well, but I got that one through quite quickly. Well, there wasn't many people, there was basically not many. I'm the only person I think almost here who was around who bought a Lennox ticket in advance. I think mean, a lot of people probably just doing some a day. So we ended up getting it quite quickly. Quickly, one thing I'd forgotten that I need to do, and I had to do in London, and they are really good cause some stress for me. But you go, might miss me connection at Waterloo. I, I forgot how to pick up my print off my the ticket machine, my ticket between uh, Waterloo and Chichester and back across back again. And there's about four working ticket machines at Kids Cross Station. What's going on? Uh, there's a heap of them were just out, and I just did it. 
Did it, is it look at all? And I stuck behind something. What a nice thing. What a thing. What a noise. Look, I mean, not his fault particularly, but he was obviously looking at some information based on trains rather than actually buying a ticket. I wonder he was doing why. He had to manage to get there, but but but, but, but train time. I I thought fifty five minutes. I thought, but then there's trailer and I bought this very early last ticket. Had to be an e ticket. I don't like e tickets particularly because I always fear something goes on your phone. He's stuffed, frankly. Uh, but it was so early, it was poor time to have the final, so I couldn't you get a paper ticket, basically. So that was all the way down. But then the train times had changed since then, and actually the train got in front, it was timetable was five minutes later, or four minutes to be pedantically exact. But then the train also got in ten minutes later on top of that, so a quarter of an hour later than I expected. When I got to expect this ticket, I think it's getting slightly delayed. Uh, I slightly forget, well, well it's... A very quick way of doing it, Waterloo, if you want to know from uh, here's goes to Waterloo. The best way is the Victoria Line to Oxford Circus, and then it's literally about a 30 second walk to the Bakerloo Line going uh, south, and then the same way north, you get uh, Waterloo to Oxford Circus, and a 30 second change, a walk to the Victoria Line back to King's Cross. And it actually took quicker than I get. I think I always thought I had half an hour easily be enough, and I was starting to get worried when I got to walk the circus. But again, my second part of the journey was, the game was quite quicker than I expected. Well, again, that's another issue here. Yes, again, my food's having a well now. I thought, hello, my ticket has now I'm sorry. So I was like, oh man, I've done 50 uh, a couple of months back. But the winding about the world, uh, uh, cursing that we. We just go to the, the, Sim, the grandfather of the Simpsons, basically. Complaining, uh, you know, you know everything was shaking his hands at clouds. But. As a first time in a row now that uh, my ticket has not worked in a ticket machine at, at Waterloo and I had to and I was did say to me to have a someone oh it's happened yet again to one of the ticket guys you know let me through I mean he didn't obviously didn't get it's not his <laughs> I mean yeah I was just looking to something to get a bit annoyed with, uh, to about to complain to about it I mean it's not his fault obviously but it's poor it's happened every it probably happened on the way back as well and one time, with three times, it was, it was actually only two minutes before the train left. You know, I was getting a bit, bit tense about this. You know, well, I might miss my train. I said, I'm a, um, that's a, that's a grumpy old man act again here. The bus, the free bus, man, he brought about like a third bus along the road to come along to the train station to, to, to race course. So I safely got the first race in the end. But there's a woman, younger, young three old woman. Uh, singing, I'll call it singing, uh, I'll be polite. But I think instead of the through Caroline, which I actually have to say, it always annoys me people with books from the Sweet Caroline. I've been a great fan of that song since I first heard it years ago, and I'm just hate people butchering it completely. Rightly. Is this time, should we stop singing it? Like, like, the, the lines she should have, three lines she should know from Summer Holiday. We, what was it? We, Cliff Richard film, and I think Mervyn Reese, whatever his name is, in it. Mervyn Hayes, not Mervyn Reese, Mervyn Reese is something completely different. I can't remember if Hayes was in it or not. Cliff Richard certainly was, and, and just sitting there and just very loud voice. I'm telling you, you're a headache, frankly. But that is that. Tomorrow I've got York, we very uh, look good. There'll be Sunday series uh, race meeting where one of those events coming in, and I think they're very good innovations. That the last year, I think, when you first knew about them. Very good invasion, a lot of good prize money. York and a good a good turnout of horses actually. They're very some ways there's quite a few like, runners in them. Uh, but the bizarre thing here is trying to find a pub in York. Can you think you've ever anything about York and Real Ale? And I'm waiting for a real ale and send my many videos thinking, how can you in York? Well there's not like market raisin where I you know, always took to find a decent pint at all. It's York at a short list I went for oh, short of oh, pubs. Yeah. Quite a lot of time spread in the meantime, a lot of time after to have some, some drinks. I've had too much really and I think I'll I will probably have that time even probably four pints. I'll stick with three, maybe two even, but I think more likely three pints. But I went I said if I had time I spent after a meeting, even though it's a sort of twilight, not quite twilight meeting for you first, it's about six thirty for the meeting. So I don't hear that some bloke asking what the loudly where the toilets were and I think what the confused and making us so oh he's just yelled he's he's he's, he's looking excitedly found the toilets running up running to them and he was saying give a hand gesture it was up to here as in I think he needs a piss rather badly. But anyway, 
I know, I don't very well ever since I'm so happy to see the toilet. So that's over just in front, or just down the stairs from here. Nice but uh, yeah, yeah, so I've had some time after waiting. So that's a look at any the pubs in, we're selling real ale within two and a half miles of the race course and to see where they were and what they had. And they're sure it's just 74. It's just anywhere with three uh, guest, guest real ale beers or more. Or okay. well, is it 73? Maybe it'll be 73. And I think, oh my God. It's too much bloody joy to know York, is it? And then we're talking down to about, oh, how many have five? It was about 40 or them. Oh my God, it's, it's absolutely ludicrous. Oh, you can't not short real ale in New York. Not down to about a short of five, all in the same sort of area. What what this is, as well, is the music event afterwards. And I don't quite like music with the events, because I feel we've got the price up more than I want to pay, and I'm not really trust the music normally. So it's about Windsor. I was meeting when I was talking to about last time good good. It was after the, the day after the win Windsor. And there's a, the year before I left Windsor off, and went, Zero was one of the few, well, few groups, well, 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 flat group race has not been to. But simply, I felt well, I, the cost was too much, I felt, for the meeting because of the music act and the hope for next year there wouldn't be a music act who it was. I thought, oh, well, I should keep doing this, aren't they? I thought to myself, oh, there's that like 40 quid for a ticket. Well, bloody hell, no. I want to see if it's ways. Let's just pay the money and also go to good the next day. Stay doing that in Windsor. Left the music act alone. And I was saying another video I did, probably was in Windsor one uh, I did from last year. I ended up in a bit of going to a pub. And there was a guy with a guitar, something like that. And it's really good, and I'm getting for free, you know, in the pub. Well, I say free, obviously, I'd play the beer, but, but, but it, was really, it was really good. And a nice evening there, it was about an hour of music there. Perfectly good. Well, this is interesting, it's a Queen tribute band, I can't remember the name of them. I looked at, I don't know much about them, I looked them up on Facebook, which is very highly rated. And I'm a Queen fan, I don't want them so much. I don't greatly like tribute bands. You ever know Newcastle at all? I'm going to Newcastle in some time. The Academy, it used to be on two Academies who sponsored it recently. So sponsored near on Westgate Road, keep saying, I keep having tribute bands, so I'm just not in. Then you see, we're looking for another tribute band again. It was when the last time I looked at it, three years back, on the, you know, the basic there outside the building they have for what's on, and I think, gee, it's not another tribute band, right? surely, God's sake. The only one I actually seen really was a. I said another video was uh, I went to see Madness uh, a number of, a number of years ago. Out of a venue actually, uh, but the actual Madness, no, not not a tribute band. But some guys who came on have been really good. It was a support one sport act. So I'm thinking, second thinking, it's not Madness, surely, isn't it? I don't think Madness. But they do some ska covers. They look really good. So it should be nice. But the problem is. I think it was a cheap train ticket at the end of it, uh, at about 12 o'clock at night, I was thinking. So I'm left here, and I wasn't sure when the music act would start. The meeting ends about 6.40, I think. And I did a look yesterday, and it, it was start, it was start, there's also music act today, or it's called that sort of, uh, at York, with their meeting, which I want the name of it. Oh dear, my, I'm getting old. I don't know if it's not just a couple, it's like a different meeting, I think it might be a different meeting than that one. <laughs> Anyway, that's an ABBA one, but uh, the book take is, takes place about a quarter of an hour after the final race, and an hour, for an hour, it's going to take place for an hour. That gives you about four hours, maybe slightly less than that, two and a half, after racing, before my train. I think it'll be a five by sitting in ten, even, but I'm just not, no way I'm going to do that much. What I'll probably do is have a Leslie walk along the river rooms. And there's three pubs of interest, of interest I've noticed, and there's a couple a little further away uh, to Nicholson's pubs. Well, they're a little further on, so I think I'd go to be sort of a free pub, maybe have one pint in the three pubs. See what I do there, that should be fine. Uh, I could sit go to Cartmel on the 28th of May and possibly Hampton on the 2nd of June. That would land really on Newcastle Carlisle train tickets, three pounds each way. We'd see my minutes have disappeared completely, used to be existing. And it, without that, it's just a bit, it's actually 10 quid a bit more on the pay for those meetings. They're not the greatest meeting. So, once I have it booked, uh, two, oh, you may, I can't remember more, uh, in Sandown, both this Friday, the Eclipse meeting, and then uh, later, possibly the Friday or the Saturday, later in July, for another one where we have got listed races. Uh, well, Probably going to stay overnight at Hamilton, quite a classic place where they only lift with the Glasgow State this evening meeting. 
So they uh, can't do Mr. Mr. having a piss guy's coming downstairs. He's looking for peace himself. Uh it's obviously relieved in more ways than one I think. And a few others as well and I getting old can't remember them. Uh Muscle Buzz certainly one of them. Uh, there's a couple of others. I probably got a plate in Newcastle. I don't know meeting do meetings twice, even though it's a local meeting for me. But the vase is a really valuable consolation race in a way for I came in after I was all late we were in time the only time I, said, well, I do twice by choice of fighting fifth hurdle and I've done that about four or five times I can't remember now uh, but yes yeah, so it was a really good race and I think we'll get to that there's a few other possibilities and I'll probably down after this remember other things I meant to say about about this meeting about anything else I don't think so. But yes, as I said on Twitter, oh, on Facebook and Twitter, Twitter, I think both, you know, Facebook, my trains had an infestation of Sunderland fans, that's not really today, because I forgot all about the playoff final. Well, I knew it was this weekend of it, but suddenly I thought it was Sunday, not Saturday, which obviously is the day. Was it massive other buggers on my, on my carriage? And I think, well, we had the train in the red and white uh, tops. I, I have to wish Wickham all the best, well, the best clearly me from the castle, I have to hope Wickham win. Uh, cause it could be a night, it could be a, <laughs> I'm a 9 o'clock train, the cast will get in about 12. So we're going out with quite a lot of these times, still be on there. So we'll be very happy or very unhappy, I don't know, we'll see. Let's hope unhappy, shall we say. Yes, the final thing, I forgot actually, I do have time for two opponents in Chichester actually after racing. Well, possibly one, it basically depends how quickly we get out, the uh, bus gets out of Goodwood and to, to the bus station. I don't know if it's up to the train station, I can't remember. Way back, it's really leaving it's on the train station. I'm not sure why back out where it stops. So, we'll see the hole in the wall, one of the, uh, the another one, possibly look at my sheet of my sheet of paper, the fountains, another one, but I think quite near. There's one quite near the station as well as a possibility. I'm not, I think that might be one on my list. But I'll see, I probably have time, I still have one unless I'm going to go very too long, but I'm making hopefully two pints. Yeah, the other thing about York, if I guess if I get to mention it in York video tomorrow, it's very strange. strange. So on part of Sunday meeting, the county stand has a relaxed dress code. You don't have to do a jacket and tie. I don't want a jacket, I wear a jacket today. I don't mind a jacket. I ties I don't like wearing. I just find them more comfortable. So the county ticket was about 27 quid, so it wasn't too bad. And I thought, oh, I'll go for that, especially with relaxed dress code. Got the information along with the badge, and it basically said what dress code is a jacket and tie. Now, it's a, one of the things happened, and it's it. I mean, what, what did the uh, information we're meeting on Walk's website clearly states it's a relaxed dress code. What's happened in York is it's a bit unprofessional of them, frankly. Is they just set the form, sort of letter out, which says what dress code is for any meeting, and, uh, and which is normally is a jacket and tie in the county. And it's, I say it's unprofessional. You should know when it's, if it's got a different dress code, you should actually not. Be, give wrong information, I think it's a bit poor for them, frankly. I remember one issue I had in past with Goodwood, and it's not happened in a number of years, was a, this is going back uh, to 2016, was a atrocious data management policy. The only organisation I could never get off the bleeding mailing list, it was almost impossible. I ended up getting off a horse race in one stadium, it was the, well, for Goodwood state mailing list, we mentioned the horse racing one, or was Goodwood or horse racing one, I went off with the state when I just kept on, and it was almost impossible. Yeah, I actually had to email the data protection you know, privacy guy from a good one. A good one. He might say, Look, what's going on? And he apologised. But there also was well, even worse. The only two, one or two organisations I'd be back on a mailing list without my permission. The other organisations were, were not too horse racing, and I, I'm not too bothered about them. I think they're okay. Actually, I like the organisation. They shouldn't have had me back on a mailing list, but. I sort of want people involved in a sort of life membership of this thing early on, and I don't care the support. I'm not sure who it was, but I gave them some to start off with. I'm glad I'm back on mail, and I said I shouldn't have done it, but I'm not, you know, bothered about them doing it. Good, it was ridiculous. It was literally, we're going to add you back on our mailing list. There's no bit of arrogance of it. That's what it was. It was, you, I, why, why we did it, I never, I should have complained. No one else has ever done it, probably some small organisation, I've done, I've done this. And I was okay, well, just blunt, though. And who the hell thought they were? And no one else has done this, and thankfully not been anything like bad for five, five, six years, but it was a shocking way to operate, frankly. Arkham 1964 here, another race course. Uh, Good at the game, second time this year. Uh, trying to take my phone a bit further away, it's 
to double chin it's coming too pronounced really for any any closer well maybe i have to do it like that anyway unfortunately uh yeah i, I, I bought this uh i'm actually wearing a jacket and tie very rarely here yeah. i don't like wearing ties but uh we're crossing to richmond enclosure my winning post i think it's a lennox and the other one i can't remember which one it is the other city there's another one as well uh, but it was the expensive one, but it wasn't too bad a price. I thought, well, I'll go and buy this. I'll have to jack and tie. Okay, fair enough. Did never expect it, but it's going to be four thunderstorms at some point in the waist course. I had to now take a coat, raincoat as well, because I would take a jacket, a tie, and a raincoat. It's all a bit over the top. But it's not to, I don't know, yesterday or the day before, I realised, oh, Lord, it's going to be thunderstorms at a meeting. It's sort of switch met uh, forecast. And it might not be quite so bad at parts of a meeting, but before and after, it's going to be thunderstorms. I mean, doing a meeting itself, I have the stands pretty much, but, but the problem is, before and afterwards, I have to wait for a bus, at, a free bus at uh, Chichester uh, Station to get the to, to uh, go to the race course, and then to do that afterwards. I have to pick a ticket up. I mean, I've got a ticket, but I need to actually get it from, from the, uh, the office at the race course. So things a bit of, so I think it could be a bit of a mess really. I know, sure, I don't even know what ground will be. Uh, I know it's been in thunderstorms before. I've seen videos I've never actually, well, I've told people not put up yet, and that's one thing. But a few meetings over the year, Weatherby, Lingfield, and I think the new, I mean, New Year's Day one, I must have, but I didn't actually do a video at all for. I was going to do that at some point, maybe combine them just to do one thing. But uh, Weatherby was horrendous. It was a rain straight in my face and a wind, and that was horrific weather. And it was one of the worst waste conditions I've ever been in a waste course. And this might, might not be much better, actually. I don't know. Not been too much in thunderstorms. So, we recently had issues with Wayne. I don't think it was quite so bad. I can't. Maybe I can't remember if it was that or just so, so bad weather recently. I wonder. Maybe it was just something else. But so, uh, good to get a second time for this year. It's a decent sort of 40, 50 grand winner, maybe 40 grand uh, finals race. I think there's a couple of these at Kenton late in the year. Uh, I don't know, cheaper plane tickets down Newcastle, London. Problem is that the BHA, uh, the International <coughs> November at Kempton, the major 40 grand to win a, a finals of this handicap, it is. Uh, good, I think it's a two road race. Balance today. And a couple at Kempton in the year. It's at the 8.30, it's an evening meeting, and the 8.30 final race is a major race, and I can't actually get that. Go to hang on for the 8.30 and get the train back, it's just it's about. The 848 out of Kempton, of course, nothing is good, but the 848 out of Kempton, half the evening. It all gets me 929 looked into this, so I never train times at uh, Vauxhall. And it's just, I could probably make 10 o'clock train at King's Cross New Castle, but not definitely. Actually, I'm interested, just say that. Uh, today, uh, I'll just put something else up. And they are cancelling 10 o'clock train at Newcastle today, actually, uh, to, to London to Newcastle today. So, I mean, I won't mess with it. I uh, wanted to get to you know, 10 o'clock then and it'll be cancelled. I don't know what's been going on with a few trains cancelled. It's very strange. Not quite as incompetent as Vanti, or just awful, Jacob, and I said in the previous video. So that's, that's, that's good for today. I may have a chance to paint after racing, I don't know. It'd be a bit marginal. Just about we'll be able to. I'm pretty sure not beforehand, unless I get somehow get an earlier train out of Victoria. But I don't think that's going to be possible. To Chichester, quite cheap, 550, back to 550. Return tickets from a uh, good uh, tour to Chichester. Very cheap tickets, maybe even too cheap, but really cheap tickets from between which is now and half, an hour and a half journey. As the last member, I now remember, but last one, when it was good over a year, I said it was track renovation, that could do a complete buy uh, somewhere else actually to get to Chichester, it's more expensive. So I'm rather annoying, I didn't know that was going to be the case when I bought the waste course tickets. I mean, I said, oh lord, it's both of me more expensive than I thought it was going to be. So future meetings, I've got two at Kelso, and I did say in my Grand National Trends video this year, one which actually I won't be doing next year, well at least completely differently as every trend, uh, two trends, uh, nobody ate so just about everything. <laughs> I, I don't know. And I think there's a major change in the matter ways coming uh, to trends, I think the race has magically changed now. But in fact, I said last time I went to Kelso was in April 2019, and basically effectively went date with somebody, which was not a common sadly for me. And we didn't make, in fact, he left after the sixth race because he wanted to leave. It didn't, the date really didn't work out. And I made it while I was saying Grand National Friends video, but I just counted 2001 Grand National for my tw twins. Not because only because they were going, which is very, very heavy, but more because Edmund and Panther were two between them as little horses took 10 horses out of the race. And I said about that, like my date in Kelso, 
the race from one Grand National, it started off okay, but at the end of it, you were wishing it would finish. And well, we've got two at Kelsey, finish second October, 5th of November. However, there's a bit of a, I thought there was a problem, and well, the best one of these two up. I thought this was going to be 22nd of October, still realising that there's a. Uh, I'm not sure this track renovations happened after I bought the train tickets. Well, it did, but I, I don't remember it being noted that uh, there was a possibility of this. And now there's no trains in Custom Berwick, as now a place in bus service, well, basically the train as a bus. And I thought it was going to be a real problem, and I may have to just sat in the meeting and go to the number of tickets and just uh, leave and just have to realise I'm with Kelso. I just have to sat, you know, I bought a ticket, I can't use it. When I realised I was looking into it, but I'd actually forgotten had that two hour gap between uh, Berwick and Preston Berwick to Kelso. Because the train gets in the 5 past 10, the bus, no, it's at the station, leaves at the 5 past 10. And it's unless the bus is a few minutes late, it's impossible to get a bus. So I had a two hour wait, and that was fine, you know, because I had enough time. So I was going to look around Kelso. Berwick, a nice little place, Berwick, a couple of hours, and a nice, well, an hour and a half I'd have. Nice little place. Uh, unfortunately, I would have went to Pop when it rains. It just went a bit there, though. But you know, there's no problem because I go, okay, I won't be able to do that now, I'll just wait for a bus. So I'll get into Berwick later, leave um, Berwick to Newcastle, it's out in the back of the mile and a half later as well to Newcastle. It's annoying, but it's not a problem. But then I looked at the 5th of November and I for- and I knew the, man- the next weekend the clocks changed. I knew that and I knew, and I don't know what I'd do- how I'd done this. And I might, and back my domain was what might have happened if there's another decent meeting 5th of November and I've got the same. Bus for five past uh, twelve, bus. But, 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 but we're racing starting now early because the light's changing. I'm in first situations. Then I looked and I'm realising I Daniel really haven't released their tickets. So I've actually been saying from October, it was one thing, or the fifth of November. And I think I don't know what a month do if it's about eight quid, at nine quid. It often is. That's ticket, and I think I might, I might come up. I might just buy a early ticket actually out in Newcastle Berwick and just pay more money, more annoyingly. Else, if there's more of a minute, the train costs a dawn, I think it's across the country or somewhere, or possibly across the line. It's like 20 quid, I'm just not going to pay that. So, put minute I'm missing the first two races at Kelso, 5th of November, and I may pay a couple of some money just to get to first races otherwise. But it's a clock that I made there. Uh, must have bought another cheap, uh, fairly decent meeting, must have bought another cheap gain, about 12, 13 quid maybe, in to, to or 30, 40 quid Newcastle to, to Wallyford Station to near some muscle point back again. So that's that. Uh, that's a decent meeting there. There are other possibilities. I'd like to get to Taunton and Warwick for this situation, but it's very, it's very expensive, and that's in December. Uh, there's other possibilities. Sedgefield 27th of September. Uh, Hexham a couple of days later. we covered on the Friday, we on the Saturday. What a possibility. Sedgefield's a decent meeting, I'll probably go over there. Hexham isn't. And I said before Hexham and back. Brighton, the only two race courses, but the same one looked at this about three or four years ago. But a single class two race or better. Toaster, the massive mismanaged toaster, was still closed, didn't I? But uh, Fakedom did a few years ago, the first time I just went and looked at it. Well, I said another person read the class two, but it's the first time, but it changed a year after I started looking at the work, decent race meetings I wanted to go to. Fakedom actually bought one class two race in, we were holding there a year before, so I might still be there. But I mean, I kept some nice view, but it's a crazy not very good. I might put up a picture at some point, of, maybe here, of, of a picture of Truck Hexham. It's a very nice place, but it's, racing not any good, but it's not a huge cost, and I get to it easier from Newcastle. But it says how bad the racing is at Hexham. I live in Newcastle, as in, as in my, my, my videos, and I've been to Ascot 21 times at Hexham twice in the last seven and a half years. So that's that. And Wecker, I've been to, I don't think you're going to twice, but I see you I've been to a couple of times before. But it's like, it could, it's uh, not, it's a little over. Even on the last ticket, it's only about 12 quid return from uh, Sunderland uh, Newcastle to, to Newcastle to Wecker uh, Central. It's a nice, it's a nice journey as well. It's like it's over my Darlington, but it's a lot cheaper. But uh, the rest of it, I don't think I'll leave it later. No way, it's good, it's not rained, but it's an absolute pain. There is about halfway through the train, to check we can do other missions going to uh, Chichester. I realised it just wasn't going to rain. It's changed you know, completely changed. Whoever went up to oh, some photo before meeting, I don't know. It's a bit light weird at six. I don't think that's good for me, but for everyone really. Oh, I, mean, I can't even bloody wear the raincoat, it's not a heavy thing. For no reason at all. And I also have to go to Newcastle station and I can only get in about half the after half twelve, so I can't even get the metro and have to walk home, which is with a coat, which is a bit of a pain. I did check the weather forecast. There was one meeting actually, I went to years ago. Well, it was years ago. Since I started going waste in 2015 anyway. 
and I thought it was exactly the same situation when I was speaking to Abercoat and I was off the metro in my way, only five minutes walking, it was pissing down, frankly, as well as a pleat of coat, it was nasty horrific otherwise. But I said, fuck, there's no nowhere near Castle Island, but so it's a bit of a paint cutting around here, but I had a winner of first race, so it's all okay, but it's just, I could tell you I don't like wearing, but it's because of the, the fancy to get in my winning post, so I had to be in Richmond and Clojure, and I had to wear a tie, as a jacket, I don't have a jacket, I don't mind tie, it's a bit of a pain. And also a coat, but anyway, I'm sure coat. Just to add, about one of the videos I did about a month ago, or something like that, I used to just happen to mention my Champion City spam to me, and I complained to him. We've done it again today, as I was on the train, I know it was just another email from This is laughable now. I've not once mailed the store of his email address, I think I must have used it. I think I've been City seven years ago. And I, and I, I said, I've been a spam here. Oh dear, put it onto one of the floor. Because I didn't want to be a bit of wind here and it's just thrown it onto the floor. Uh, but I did about, I asked her about five, six years ago, time for my old sent emails. But, 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 and I think I did it, or maybe it was just the end of last year. But I did it again a few months ago and I complained to him that it would take off the mailing list. This would be the mailing list I wasn't sent up to, by the way. And it happened again, and I'm going to go open now, and literally, I'm going to say, look, I'm not sure what I'm going to say yet, but say it happens again, I'm going to put you to the information, this is, this is, this is the office, because he's just spamming me here, and I'm twice now, and I've asked you to go off his mail, and that's the only thing I have to sign up for. I said, last time, I think it was a mistake, I got the office, but I was a horse racing one, sound of that, and I said, one of them, and then I have a duplicate one, so that's what I said. A month ago in a video, but actually, uh, it's really not. I know if I was over my two mail list, it was not the case because then uh, the Ladies' Day one now got spammed about. I had enough of it. Uh, either I put an email out on my Twitter asking if anyone got this uh, uh, spam email as well, or is it just me, or was it other people that I'm competent with? And then all people, Graham Sharp, he formed well, no, well, no, former. Uh, head to uh, PR guy of Hills, it was him, the three triumvirates really, I used to think. Some of them may still be at Coles, I don't know, but Grim Shop now well with Tiles and Hills, I think. And also was a number of more facing books as well, very, you know, very well known person. And the other one who had books was Mike Dillon. And Grim Shop replied to me saying that, I bet I spoke to Peter Peer actually, that he said he just as his fear here. That is uh, both people going around the world racing, and the second least favourite was, was clearly Chelmsford, from what he's saying. I wonder if he likes to be Chester, which is my least favourite, but I don't know about that. But that's very, I don't know what we're doing, but it's, we need to stop doing it because I've had enough. He gives us a few times, now, so it's now a third time in about 12 months, it doesn't sound a lot, well, about nine months, but two times in, in, in now just over a month. But you just, you know, you just die. Say, it's not just a spam, it's not, your data protection is incompetent. I once did say at the same time that Goodwood was terrible about six or seven years ago and, and we're back onto a mailing list. Uh, and we're really bad at doing it, but they've been fine since then. But I was, I told them we'll send an email to the data protection guy or privacy guy at uh, Temple City, City or not. But I'll do that and say, you know, one more time and, you know, and I'm going to actually literally take action. Well, the first race, City Tour, they obviously came back into people who were doing after race, and the, and the lad was having a bit of a laugh about the horse, obviously not one very well. And they must have been with either the owner, or, I'm going to have a light here, I don't blind anyone, or someone connected to the owner, because he knew her and a uh, friend, and she knew him. So it might be the owner, might be friends of the owner, saying that City Tour had his mind about other things apart from moving quickly, and that maybe, uh, I don't really sound seriously saying, Maybe it was one of over eight hurdles instead, I don't know, but obviously, quite amusing. I was just sort of who here in this conversation it was taking place, but it was certainly quite amusing. Just called Graham Sharp um, uh, a little while ago, and I think I said there was, I think I heard part of the video where I was saying uh, his group said it was the second worst uh, West Coast I've been to around the world. I had to miss where this tweet is actually the worst, so it says everything about Chelmsford City. Oddly enough, it's now started raining. Uh, six races, still don't pre parade room, I'll be back at the uh, phone, of course. I'll be so parade room, and suddenly it started raining quite, quite heavily, and it was. So I've got the rain go on in the end. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's slightly winning now, 
not sure if it's bothered to pre when it's drizzling a bit. So I'll see what I decide to do. But I mean, it really has been an inconsistent weather forecast. It's overhearing two people behind them that will cross me. I think it must be working with a waste course saying it's not rain as much as it was supposed to rain, which is true. Um, but uh, that was the original forecast, not the forecast from uh, this morning. It was completely uh, different. But that's it. One way left to go. I wouldn't have a first to <laughs> any players to also done nothing else since then. I think at the minute it looks like it's going to be three weeks from the next meeting, which would be Sedgefield, May 7th. Had planned possibly a Yarmouth, but the list of John Lusker, Billy Stakes, also uh, three people newbie and uh, a couple of spirits in the new market, one of the dry course, one of the rolling mild course. Nice, you know, both by now, both be rolling mild course, but obviously. Both trains are just too expensive, that's all we consider those all for next year. Yeah, I think I sat with people reading, I, running around, that's too bloody overweight, frankly. You're a bit knackered now. But also, it's a nice view from here. And, oh, oh, it's raining. Suddenly it's raining heavily. It's going to rain 